Greetings everybody, I am Shijat Ali from Medicos Lectures by Shijat and today we are going to talk about inflammatory arthritis. So focus on this word, inflammatory arthritis. So when we broke it into part, we came to know that it is basically a disease that is caused by the inflammation but key point is overactive immune system response. So due to that overactive immune system response, inflammation occur. So we say that inflammation as arthritis that is developed as inflammatory arthritis. So arthritis is basically of three types, inflammatory, connective and non-inflammatory. Inflammatory is further divided into two types. One is chronic and one is acute. Acute is divided into gout and septic arthritis and chronic is further divided into three arthritis which is basically mono, poly and spine arthritis. In the same way, non-inflammatory is also divided in two types, acute and chronic. Same divisions is for both acute and chronic, three, mono, poly and spine. And uh, for acute, there is two divisions. So when you talk about one by one, the details of these arthritis, that what is rheumatoid arthritis, what is acute, what is chronic, what are the factors that are going to be caused at which areas of our body it is going to be developed. So first type is basically acute arthritis. It is basically polyarthritis can affect more than one place. It is genococcal, genetic and acute onset. When we talk about rheumatoid arthritis, so they are basically a chronic inflammation of joint that ultimately uh, cause dis rheumatoid disease and it is developed due to the rheumatoid nodules. So further when we move forward we talk about rheumatoid nodules in details as well. So rheumatoid factor is basically a key for diagnosis of this rheumatoid arthritis. Now factors. Factors are basically two types. They may be genetic means there is any abnormality in genes of that person that are going to be occur and cause arthritis in that. In the same way there is environmental causes like cigarette smoking. So due to that we have a major chances of uh, due to environmental factors we have a chances of development of this arthritis. So there is different places at which it can affect. Articular means on small joints it can affect and we often see in arthritis patients that morning stiffness is going to be occur means their joints their uh, uh, joints have stiffness when they woke up in morning they have stiffness in their hands so their joints are stiffened in that uh, case in morning so extra articular they basically starting from head to mouth systemic musculoskeletal hematological ocular cardiac pulmonary at different systems at different levels it is going to be affect in our body. So we say that there are non articular type of arthritis that is going to be affect different places in our body. Risk factors so there include reproductive hormonal changes means that the hormonal changes that are going to be involved they might be a cause of that arthritis. There might be environmental factors which are include tobacco usage so they are going to be cause this inflammatory arthritis. We have to check three main important points. We have to check birth history, we have to check early life history, past history and physical activity. That what actually that person is doing or what uh, type of physical activity he is performing. So after checking out these we have made a conclusion. We have different diseases and different deformities in arthritis. But before deformities, let's talk about synovial cell hyperplasia, means hyper or inflammation of that synovial cell. So it is basically as its name shows hyperplasia, so it is a swallowing of joint, hand, shoulder, feet and knee. So it can increase stiffness, cause tender deformity and erosion in that. So in this case, flexion sublocation of metacorporal phalangeal joints is going to be occur in that case of synovial cell hyperplasia, where inflammation of different joints, shoulder and uh, hand and feet, they are going to be occur. We have different types of deformities. Our first deformity is ulnar deformity. Focus on this word, ulnar. So we came to know that there is a deformity in ulna, 
where our hand is uh, slightly its shape change and deformity is going to be occur in that second is botinior deformity it is basically a distal interphalangeal joint deformity where finger uh, shape change and it moved towards the side between swan's neck is basically a shape look like swan's neck shape of finger so it basically look like this so we says deformity is going to be developed and we called it as swan's neck rheumatoid nodule is a key point it is basically a central area in necrosis wherever necrosis is going to be occur in a central area of that fibronoid necrosis we have rheumatoid arthritis z thumb deformity is basically where thumb shape is like z and we says that the deformity that we developed is our z thumb deformity now talking about the diagnosis so diagnosis are basically to check rheumatoid factors to check anti ccp antibody test this is a key test if this test is positive anti ccp antibodies so we have 99% chances of developing inflammatory arthritis markers are basically c reactive protein esr tenderness is showing pain and swelling so they are the markers of inflammation that ultimately lead us to the arthritis but before making diagnosis we have to check three main points we have to check the duration of symptoms joints and these markers of symptom uh, inflammation that what sort of inflammation what overall view is of that inflammation is so after making these three points after checking these three points we made a final conclusion and we moved towards the tests and then after test we moved towards the treatment and treatments are basically uh, before making treatment food allergy we have to check that either he is allergic to some food agents exercise and we have check by ring that if a person is infected for arthritis uh, when he wear ring uh, at morning his uh, joints are swelled so he doesn't able to wear the ring and in the evening the same joint is basically uh, moved towards its normal position and person is able to wear that ring so we can check by that also but uh, drugs are include sulfasalazine methotrexate lufunomide they basically modulate the immune system and uh, they monitor the blood regularly biological modifying of drugs or demards we have also tnf inhibitors a beta sept which cause t cell to inflammation and uh, pro inflammatory proteins we also give them uh, after these treatments after these drugs we have a last stage which is basically surgery that after these tests after checking and making final conclusion the last stage that if patient doesn't uh, treat with drugs as well so we have a surgery in which we either remove that joint we repair that tendon we fuse that joint or totally replace that joint or physical therapy we give to that patient so after these we are able to treat this arthritis so guys this is our basic lecture on arthritis from its very basic to its diagnosis and its final last stage hope you all will understand it don't forget subscribe medicals lectures by shujat thank you so much